So I'm going to try to work relatively quickly and just block in where things are going to go. So it's hard to do one handed, but maybe this will be the, where the apples are going to go and then another apple here. May have to make that a little bit bigger. And the flowers. Let's see, that's here and here. Seems like I've got a pretty big empty space over there. So, hmm. Let's see, I'm not sure. That's still, yeah, it's a, well, there is a shadow there. I think I'm going to move everything over just a little bit. So that's your next step as you're doing a little bit of an abstract. And I'm going to put this down and do that. Okay, so I've decided I had this bowl kind of off the page. And then I brought it into the page. And then it was down too far here. So I pulled it up and put this here. And there's the vase is going to be there. And now we're just going to just barely sketch things in and jump right in because uh, the next step will be blocking in and we're going to do this quickly because our light is fading. Remember if you're painting from a still light, something that you've got set up in your house, you can actually get a color mixed up on your brush and you can hold it right up to the object and see if, if you've got it close. I don't have a whole lot of paint on there, but uh, you can hold it up and see if you've got, got it close or if you need to adjust it. So just another little helpful hint. I decided to just jump in and um, I'm just going to throw in some green here and the negative space around here that is the bowl will come in and really take a very close look at that bowl and get that in and that is that's going to be how I shape these apples into apples rather than painting in all these individual apples right now but we'll and just notice how quickly this is done. You're, you're not worried about making everything beautiful just yet. And hopefully you won't have to worry about it at all. Um, let's just go ahead and throw some of that in there too. Not that I'm too worried about getting that in right now, but since I've got it on my brush and it's gonna be here, We'll go ahead and put that into a little bit of a little antique tablecloth. Okay, so now I'm looking closely at that shape right in there and trying to use that to create the outside of my bowl and the inside of my bowl. So that's what you're up to next. So now I'm looking closely at that shape right in there and trying to use that to create the outside of my bowl and the inside of my bowl. So that's what you're up to next. Okay, so notice I haven't put in any of these leaves or anything yet, but do notice also that there's some dark spots right in there, there, that I need to, I've just got a bunch of green in there, so I'm going to use those little dark spots to pull those apples away from each other. So there's going to be one there, and there's definitely one there, and then I'll get these in a little bit better here in a second and I'm going to start with getting the darks in there so and I'll, I will throw in some leaves so I'm going to put in just one of these right here this this little leaf shape let's see out goes down it goes over this way Out more. It goes this way. 
so that's what we're working on now and I'll get back with you in a minute so I got this a little bit too close so I like the way this has a little bright spot right there and I don't have a I don't have that in good enough to get that so I'm gonna go back in and draw in that bright spot by wiping away whoops you didn't see that okay there's also a bright spot up here and it comes out here cuts in and it's very bright right in there so we'll use some of that to whittle that away just a little bit okay still looks pretty messy doesn't it that's okay it's going to be okay in the end i would also mention that it is very important to squint because when you squint you realize that this part here and this part here you realize how dark they are compared to this but sometimes with eyes wide open or with a photograph it's not quite as evident so make sure you're squinting at the stuff you're painting you don't have to squint at your painting but squint at the stuff that you are painting so I have put in some of the leaves and something that you might notice like that right there is really bright and it's really dark on mine so you can take your fingernail and your claw and just get it in like that you can paint it in better later but it kind of gives you um, that one is not turning out like I wanted it to, but I'll paint in and round it here in just a minute. So I've wiped out some areas here and here, anything that got bright, and um, I'm putting in some more color where this was blue, and then I'll wipe it out again. Okay, so while we're at it, I'm sketching this little thing in down here and sketching in where some of these leaf shapes are. So let's see, this one comes right here and goes up and goes down and then goes out. one goes up and down and that's what's going to make that side look bright. Picked these apples just a couple minutes ago off the community garden tree. Well there's two, two garden trees and they are loaded with apples. So I brought some home so Scott can use some for his kombucha. Oh, he's talking. Because the light is on its way across the horizon, I decided I better put in some of the brightest brights also. So I'm working on that right now and I think I also need to get in some of the tablecloth so everything looks like it's in its right spot and we need shadows underneath some of these things so next we'll do that okay I'm going back into the bowl a little bit too I just um, I'm putting uh, ultramarine blue like it's right out of the tube it's so pretty uh, let's see that's there that goes actually out of the bucket let's see this goes around Oh, there's another little leaf there that I need to get in better. So I better stop there and go work on that leaf before I get too far gone. So it's getting a little bit further along. And if you'll notice, 
I am not too concerned about smoothing all these edges in. I think it's a lot more fun to see those brush strokes and I'll try to hold on to those as much as I can um, before finishing so hopefully I won't get too picky. So there's also a little rim around here that you can see it's a little bit lighter so you don't want to put that in all in one stroke so um, I'm, I've got my paintbrush loaded and I'm going to take several little strokes so uh, there's one and I'm going to get more paint so I've taken one stroke and I'm getting more paint and there's another one and it does kind of go all the way across so there's another one and I'm going to flip my brush and that leaf casts a shadow which you can't see on this because it's over here anyway so um, but back here and here no light so don't put it in um, here it's a much brighter light so let's get some uh, get some white add it to that let's see if I can get it bright enough not white but I'll go back over it with just another stroke here in a minute I'm going to get the color of the tablecloth and you can see I started out making a violet with the blue that I've already used and um, alizarin crimson and then it's a muddier violet and then so I got kind of a muddy violet. I put it on, didn't, not, not anywhere near close. And so it's much lighter than that. So now I've added white and um, we'll just see what, what happens. But the color is kind of a washed out violet. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so I've gotten some of the darks in and I put in where that vase is going to go. And I've got some of the lights in. It's not perfect yet, but I'm not really shooting for perfect so um, anyway and also notice that I haven't quite finished this but it's the darkest spot is right below that apple so that gets nice and dark and I'm trying to I'm trying to decide do I want to put any of those patterns in and I might but I'll, I'll see I'm not sure I kind of like it's kind of a Got an interesting little abstract kind of shape to it right now, and uh, we'll see what happens. I think I've been saying that a lot, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so we went into a little bit more detail on this, and you can kind of see where I wiped out the stems and then applied just a little bit of paint in there. Um, and I'm throwing in this little, um, vase. So it is that little vase that we're putting in. Of course I'm standing a little bit above it. So um, I'm more interested in the apples. So I didn't want really this vase to take away from those apples. So um, so we'll just put the little bit of an edge in there and um, that's where we'll go from here. Put something in as an experiment and I'm going to take it out. Um, I don't think I want that much pattern. Looking down here, there's that pattern. That's ah, unnecessary, and I'm not sure up here if I want those flowery things in there either. So they may be out next time I take this picture. So I've decided to take it out altogether. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do right now, so I'm going to think about it and I'll get back with you. I think we need to do something up there in that space, but maybe a little shadow or something I don't know a leaf we'll see well as you can see about half of the painting has disappeared and I've changed the colors and I put in a leaf up above up here and it just didn't do anything for me so I took it out and I took out the purple part of the cloth and um, anyway so this is what it looks like today and I'm going to quit for the day. It's, the light has obviously changed. Here's my little still life. Moved everything out, moved everything in, 
and um, so I think it's it may be done I'll take a look at it tomorrow um, it may be finished I like lots of lots of different aspects of it so who knows maybe it's done I need to get something ready for the 12 by 12 fundraiser so this might just fit the bill anyway um, sorry I got kind of caught up in the whole thing and didn't uh, repost what I was doing but I will just tell you I took things out put things in um, so there you go so I have revisited this one more time I, th I think that it's done I think I'm just gonna say it's done now I've um, taken out some of the violet and added what should be maybe a shadow color of green in here and over here but I kind of like seeing just a little bit of that violet come through I kind of like the way that looks and I add there was a little bit more of a kind of a weird little sparkly thing up there that I threw in and I went and looked back at the leaves again just to see if the color was right and you know I kind of like the color of them so I think I'll leave the color the same um, so I think it's pretty much done and so hopefully that helps and I really I, I had fun with this and I I didn't spend too much time being real particular I didn't uh, soften edges uh, I didn't make it photorealistic and you can kind of see there's you can see the brush strokes and you can see what I left and what I didn't you know I could have gotten that smooth and pretty but I I kind of like it just the way it is it, it looks to me it looks more alive and fun it it looks like the fun that I had painting it so I'm gonna leave it just the way it is it's done